Surface bargaining occurs if a party engages in negotiations without any real intention of reaching an agreement. In National Labor Relations Board v. A1 King Size Sandwiches Incorporated, the court considered whether an employer runs afoul of the National Labor Relations Act by engaging in surface bargaining with a labor union. A1 King Size Sandwiches Incorporated was in the business of making and selling sandwiches and pies. The National Labor Relations Board certified a labor union to represent the company's employees and ordered the company to bargain with the union. The company met with the union almost 20 times in under a year. The parties agreed on a few terms of a proposed collective bargaining agreement. However, the company insisted on retaining complete control over most of the essential terms, such as wages, hiring and firing, retirement, and safety rules. The company also demanded that the employees give up their rights to bargain or strike, but did not provide them with any incentive. The company wouldn't even agree to a term requiring it merely to comply with federal anti-discrimination laws. Furthermore, the company offered no legitimate business reason for its stern position or unwillingness to compromise. And when the union objected to the company's proposals, the company proposed even less favorable terms. The union filed charges before the board, asserting that the company engaged in surface bargaining and failed to bargain in good faith. An administrative law judge agreed, finding that the company's failure to bargain in good faith was an unfair labor practice in violation of the National Labor Relations Act. The board affirmed, and the company appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit.